Well, electric vehicles have been slow to take off in the United States. About uh, 2%, fairly flat over the last couple of years, 2% of sales. This year it's up to about 4%, so there's been a little bit of a jump. Most U.S. vehicle sales, light vehicle sales, are pickup trucks or SUVs. There are higher penetrations across the world. So EVs are going to become a big part of the world vehicle supply. Um, Europe now about 10% of vehicles sold, maybe higher this year, are EVs. A lot of the European cities and countries are, are banning internal combustion engines, though, and forcing the automakers to move. Norway all the way up to 60%. What Norway did was actually make it uh, an EV half the price of an internal combustion engine. They don't charge any value-added tax on an EV, and they don't charge other automobile taxes, so a big deal there. Overall in the world, the world about uh, 6%. Uh, many of that is small vehicles in China. Globally, 10.8 million EVs of 1.4 billion light vehicles. Automakers appear to be all in. Tesla just had a quarter. They produced, I think, 306,000 cars. Uh, really amazing. And the other guys as well. Electric vehicles have certain advantages. Faster acceleration, quieter ride. Uh, simpler engines. Um, right now, EV maintenance is more expensive, but uh, probably uh, with simpler engines, it's going to be cheaper at some point. But there's some big disadvantages captured by this chart. Uh, this little model uh, Honda Civic here uh, has a 12.4 gallon gas tank, and it carries 77 and a half pounds of fuel. It can go 360 miles. So if you say, okay, I'll, I'll get a 77 and a half pound battery, uh, put it in a Chevy Volt, you can go 21 miles. You have to increase the battery size to uh, 1,334 pounds to go that same 306 miles, 360 miles. After drivetrain adjustments, you need about nine pounds of battery for a one pound of gasoline. The second big advantage is vehicle cost. I need to update this for 2021, but a 2020 Chevy Volt, 36,000 MSRP. Toyota Corolla, under 20,000. That price is gonna to be too high for many. Uh, plugging from a charger at your home is cheaper, but if you go out and plug in, uh, it's often more expensive. And EV taxes are gonna be rising. 